All right, guys, so here we are jumping off into this game against uh, Pikefish40, man. Let's go ahead and give him that work real quick. All right, guys, so just head ups, head ups, heads up, man. I'm probably going to get a little bit angry this game because it already has, like, some ridiculous input lag. Uh, it's not really very visual, but you could definitely feel it. So there's your warning because uh, shit might get serious. So it looks like we're going to try pounding the ball to begin with with Adrian Peterson. He's going to run the triple option thing and we're just gonna let him take it with his quarterback over and over again uh that's fine if he wants to keep running the shovel option but yeah that's how i'm pretty much gonna deal with that if he wants to just run the shovel option all day that's completely fine i'm gonna let him uh i'm gonna let him think or i'm gonna let him take it with his quarterback the whole time and just eventually he's gonna fumble okay so my opponent has a pretty decent team to start off with here he's dropping back he's looking short but lawrence taylor's gonna scream off the edge a bit of four down fourth and long he's got marquette king so i'm sure he's gonna be doing like some sort of fake because marquette king is pretty quick but i think i managed to throw up a qb spot and i did holy shit he's got a lot of kick power too archer might not even make it there in time and he didn't that might have been the best punt in the world oh never mind touchback for a second, I honestly thought that rolled out of bounds right at the one. I was going to be like, holy shit, this guy's an animal. It looks like he's got uh, Golden Ticket Sean Taylor and Golden Ticket Bo Jackson back there, and neither of them have stars. So you know this team is stacked. But we got DeAndre Hopkins at the sideline. You got speed! That's Bo Jackson back juke. Okay, shouldn't have back juke. It's okay, but we are down, man. That's a 60-yard gain. Okay, my opponent has tons of hit power all over the field. We're going to start off running the ball with the Mark Murray. Nice game of about 4 or 5. All right, I'm going to come out with the same exact play that I ran the first time, but I flipped it to the side. And what's great is you can flip this and no one can even tell we got mike evans baby that's a touchdown let's get it seven zip boy guy has a pretty cool team actually he's got a lot of cards that people don't really like they don't really not like to use but a lot of people don't use so shout out to the homie pike fish man he's got a really good team and like i said he's got a lot of cards on there that i actually would really like to use was that? i think that's dre archer is his kick returner too um, so Dre Archer is playing for two teams today, and we're going to whiff a bunch of tackles. He's almost getting out to the 30-yard line. He's got Golden Ticket Herman Moore, Golden Ticket Irving, and he's got uh, Boss, what's his name over there? He's dropping back. He's got an open receiver, but thankfully he didn't look for it, and we're going to go ahead and pop him. I wonder if that's Boss Steve Young. He literally had a wide-open streaking receiver deep down the field, but he just didn't dump it off right there. If you would have dumped it off, I probably would have popped him. Um, I don't think uh, my opponent's really about that life, to be completely honest, so gonna try running it again and he is he's throwing it up deep one-on-one -on -one situation and he's not gonna come down with a good play by night train lane that's third and long okay so we're actually sending the house here he's dropping back he's gonna find the open receiver good spin move and he's falling forward trucking off defenders like crazy holy shit down to the 36 all right that was completely anus and a half that that should never happen he's dropping back look he's gonna try and dump it up to the flats but he's not he's taking a huge sack there lawrence taylor number two already today all right this time we got Dion buchanan baby i don't know who he's trying to cross the middle of the field he's got an open receiver but let's go we got reggie white qb spine he's gonna slap it down i gotta remember to take out brian cushing after this play but looks like he's gonna try and hit me with a corner route or something crazy over the middle of the field but we're not gonna let him have it no matter what he's motioning his receiver out looks like he's going for verticals thank you come again eric fucking barry shut off that tackle bitch let's get it man What's your profanity? all right you guys already know that eric barry and ed reed are the best safety duos in the fucking world man like it's so obvious but we got deandre Hopkins on the sideline not a soul next to him man my opponent's coming out in some wet cover four and you already know never run cover four against me man because i got those cover four beaters but we're running the ball with demarco murray picking up some nice blocks gain of about nine almost got the first down there all right he's got tons of hit power but i feel okay doing this we're gonna go ahead and direct snap it with mike vick try and go up the middle but we're gonna get swallowed up in the backfield loss of about two sometimes i just try and get vick involved in things that he really doesn't need to be involved in we're gonna snap it as soon as julio jones sets and we got deandre hopkins baby down to the 10 truck and forward actually down at the nine i motioned out that uh julio jones and he actually did a pretty good job playing it himself let's go ahead and just flat our a receiver and we're going to go ahead and take our flat with Mike Evans diving to that end zone. Let's fucking go. Mike Evans, number two on the day. Throw it up, big boy. Man, this game has got me all sorts of excited today. Pike Fish, man, you're going to get digged down if you don't come to play, son. Okay, I got to remember to take out Brian Cushing. I keep forgetting, though. But seriously, in the comments, let me guys, let me guys know. Let me know if you guys want to see me go get a face cam and do some uh, face cams. Because I'm sure you guys would enjoy that. I just never really thought about doing it. So let me know what you guys want to see. Because, fuck, I forgot to take Cushing out again. But I know I have some pretty ridiculous reactions, so I'm sure that's probably something you guys want to get in on. I just don't know if I would start doing it this year or if I would just wait till next year. He's throwing her up. Ronnie Lott swapping that ball. Actually, no, that was Eric Berry that forced the incompletion. So, yeah, like I said, let me know if you guys want to see a face cam in the future. Uh, and let me know how soon you want to see it. Like, if you guys just want me to finish 
without Madden 16, without the face cam or switch to it midway through. I don't really care. So yeah, that's where I'm standing in that whole situation. Um, yeah, I just never really thought about grabbing one, but I've seen a lot of people talking about it more recently. He's chucking it up. Oh, Ed Reed. Oh, Herman Moore is not going to come down with it, though. Way to, uh, way to force the incompletion, Night Train. I... I'm starting to really wonder where the hell Ultimate Legend Night Train Lane is. By the time he drops, everyone's not going to really care anymore. We're going to lay the fucking wood. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh my god, good juke, man. Holy shit, man. I'm getting juked out of my shoes lately. If that's Boss Young, I'm probably going to offer him some coin for it because I really want Boss Young. I really, really want him. I'm sure you guys know that. He's rolling out of the pocket. He's thrown on the run. Oh my god, and I didn't even get an animation for that. Herman Moore almost came down. All right, we got Bud Cannon over the middle of the field. The middle of the field is completely ours. No one is getting it. We're fucking screaming. Let's go, Anthony Barr. All right, middle of the field is ours. He's throwing it up into fucking 17 people, and Eric Berry's not going to come in with a pick. He's actually going for the field goal here. He's just going to take his points. That's probably the smart thing to do, and he's going to go ahead and nail that field goal. Okay, good drive, good drive, but we got time to score. One minute and 20 seconds? Shit. My homie gave me way too long on the clock. I'm definitely going to drive down the field and score. Uh-oh, my opponent might have just fucked up, baby. No, he didn't. Okay, it's a few seconds before. I'm definitely going to drive down the field and score. I'm definitely going to drive down the field and score. Fine. Why can he never make that fucking throw, Vic? Why can you not make that throw? I don't get it. Manziel can't throw the deep ball, and Michael Vick can't throw a ball that's five feet in front of him. Give me a fucking break. He's running the shovel option here. If he tries throwing it, we're going to fucking pop his bitch ass. God damn. Why can we never lay a hit stick? I It always, like, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I'm diving too early or something, but I'm fucking diving at the appropriate time. There's no way I'm diving too early or too fucking late, dude. Give me a break. Fucking fumble. Third and two, and I smell a shovel option incoming. And no, it's not actually. He's looking over the middle of the field. Intercepted. Oh, my fucking God. My team always has chances to take points off the board, and this is the shit they fucking provide me with, man. I cannot believe that. Michael Vick has got to go. I got to look for a new pickup. Maybe he's, he, I, mean, he, I think he only has 92 throw mid. That's probably the problem. I just, I don't understand. He just leads them way too much. Like, they're open wide, wide across the middle of the field. He's got 100 throw power. He just could never make an, a fucking accurate throw. Uh, juke to the left, and Dre Archer is getting absolutely nowhere. But you know what? That's fine. This guy can have all the breaks in the world of fucking course. J.J. Watt, completely untouched. All right, well, this game is getting pretty old quickly. We're dropping back here. Absolutely no one open. We're just going to scramble with Vic. Just go out of bounds, I guess. I don't even know what else to do. Based here with third and forever. We're dropping back, and look who we fucking got. DeAndre Hopkins with a hot dot. One-handed grab. Call a timeout. That's field goal range. So, actually, I got seven mile an hour win in my favor. No chance I'm going to miss this. My name isn't, uh, what was it? I don't remember. Someone missed it. Someone missed the field goal in the Madden Challenge. That's all I remember. Okay, I was gonna go ahead and do a nice little short kick. Give him absolutely no chance to get anywhere, and he's not gonna. We're gonna lay the fucking boom with who's check. That's the end of the half. All right, so thankfully we actually get the ball to start off the next half too. So we're dropping back, and look who we. Thick. What the motherfuck are you doing? Okay, I'm confused. Did he just, like, throw that off his back foot for some reason? Like, did he not set his feet? But that's okay, because look who we got. Streaking, butt booty naked, DeAndre Hopkins again, man. DeAndre Hopkins is a beast. Now, I know this is probably really weird to hear, but I was thinking about getting rid of DeAndre Hopkins and picking up someone a little bit quicker, since he is, like, a little on the slow side now that we're this far into Madden. He's only got 94 speed. But, I don't know, because he really is a... He's, like, super, super clutch. Really, really clutch receiver, to be completely honest. He's got really sure hands but he's just really slow so against some teams he just can't get going so i was thinking about grabbing like uh not really i was thinking about grabbing like a new receiver like i was thinking about getting jerry rice and then putting julio jones in the slot and then maybe just getting rid of deandre hopkins like a giveaway or something so yeah maybe let me know that in the comments as well let me know if you want to see face cam and let me know what you think i should do with my receiving core um but I was thinking about getting uh, Jerry Rice since the, everyone's prices is just so low right now. But now that we pounded our way all the way down the field, let's just go ahead and cap it off. One more run play for DeMarco Murray, and he's going to run commit. What a fucking pussy. Okay, I'm not too sure who comes out in a formation like this on the goal line, but we're just going to go ahead and toss it in. No one's got block shed. Bo Jackson does for some reason, and that's a touchdown, man. Oh, what? All right, we're going to go ahead and make it look like it's a toss by just moving out who's check. And I think we got him fooled pretty well. That's a touchdown, man. Good job. Uh-oh, my opponent might be taking an early exit, man. Come on, Pike Fish is a good game. 
You're doing good, buddy. Oh, no. Pike Fish is going to go ahead and take an early exit, man. Finals of the I'm a goddamn bitch button throws Xbox out the window, man. All right, guys. The way I end up the video is just like I do every other time. This giveaway is going to last until I think the 4th. I'm going to go ahead and accept the 4th of July. So if you guys are interested, the gamer tag is on the top of the screen. Sheriff Space VD, add me on the Xbox one. You guys can see all the shit we have up here. Different trade offers. So definitely go submit your random trade offers on the cards. And I'll be accepting them on the 4th of July, guys. So that's the end of the video. If you guys like it, definitely give it a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below, as always. Peace.